In this section here we're going to be talking about the derivative and this what I'm about to write is known as the definition of the derivative. Okay, so I'm going to write f prime of x, so this little thing right here means prime, is equal to, now you know what this is in the previous sections, we're going to be taking the limit of delta x approaching 0 of f, if I can write, f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And I'm going to give an example. Let's say for example we have we're going to start with an example before I start talking about how we come up with this right here. Okay, to find f prime of x, first we got to find an f of x. Okay, and I'm going to define my f of x as 5x plus 2. And now I'm going to use this formula right here. So I'm going to take x plus delta x, so f of x plus delta x and I'm going to substitute all of this into here so this is x plus delta x and then plus 2 alright and of course f of x is just our function and then we will write delta x so let's see if I can sneak that in down here so, <clears throat> all right, we're just going to focus on this piece right here. Or, all right, so I take my, actually, you know what, I'll just go ahead and write the whole thing. F prime of x is equal to the limit of delta x approaching 0. Now, I'm going to take this whole piece so 5 times x plus delta x plus 2 minus our f of x. Now I'm going to start a parentheses here because of this minus sign, all right? So the f of x is just f of x or 5x plus 2. And that is all over delta x. All right, what we'll want to do now is, we'll rewrite that, but we do always need to rewrite our limit. Delta x approaches 0. So let's clean this up up here. We have 5x plus, distributing that 5 across, 5 delta x plus 2 minus 5x and then minus 2. Right? We want to distribute this negative across. And that's all over delta x. So then we write the limit as delta x approaches 0. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? We can, let's see, we can cancel those guys out because we have a positive and a negative and we can cancel our 2's out. All right, so I'll just go ahead and rewrite what we got. 5 delta x over delta x. <coughs> so we have the limit as delta x approaches 0. Now these delta x's can cancel out, and we'll just end up, all that stuff collapses down to 5 and the limit of a constant is just the constant so the limit of 5 as delta x approaches 0 is just going to be 5 so remember this is f prime of x so f prime of x is equal to 5 